Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have a look at the brand new revamped Microsoft Store. So in case you don't go to the Microsoft Store very often, um, Microsoft did say that throughout the year we will have changes to the Microsoft Store. Uh, one of the biggest problems of the Microsoft Store is how it is designed. It's kind of very cluttered and very difficult to go through and uh, a lot of people have been complaining about that and also the uh, developers that make games and software and apps in the Microsoft Store were also complaining about that. But now with the update one that actually brings a Microsoft Store to your taskbar, you can see mine here at the bottom, um, it's easier than ever to actually go to the store and actually if you look at the new store that we have you notice that at the top now there is uh, some categories so you can see that there's the search for apps it's now in a green bar at the top which wasn't there before we had just the search for apps right in the middle on the upper right of your screen now it's kind of in a little taskbar if you want or a uh, menu bar at the top and uh, so it now has home where you can click and be to uh, just be on the, the start page of the store if you want then you have top charts that you can click and you will have categories so you can check for top free games free apps uh, new and rising the top grossing the top paid Depending on what you want, the best rated apps, you can click on best rated apps and have a glance of what's the best rated apps right now for uh, Windows 8. So I think this is a great idea and it's easy to go back to the home page by just clicking home. I think this is really fantastic in the way they made that. Uh, this is a great improvement, I think, to the Microsoft Store. Of course, you have your categories that you can go at the top you're looking for something in a category you just for example health and fitness you'll just click there and basically you'll have all the health and fitness apps for example here you also have collections uh, collections is basically um, apps from a certain category that they'll actually put together and um, one of the reasons they did collections is the fact that um, first of all people that buy one app or one game are probably inclined to buy other apps of the same category or in the same collection so that's why they put everything and group them together so you can check for that and see if it goes well with what you would like to have actually so um, and the last thing is account where you have all the details of your account and uh, an easier way to actually modify any uh, information in your account. So it's uh, quite interesting and uh, you can see my apps. This will show up every app that you've downloaded, paid for, everything is going to be there and my account will be everything about your account if you have to uh, make a change. One little annoying thing about the fact that the green menu bar at the top of the store is at the top. You will go there especially because if you don't have a touch device you have now that little bar that you can close your apps with. And I've noticed that what annoys me a little more on this is the fact that if you go into your top and you just go a little too high then you actually activate that little bar where you have the uh, control to close an app and it overlaps on the menu bar so it is sometimes a little annoying if you're not careful and you go too high with your mouse pointer for example you'll activate that bar and that happened to me several times in the past few days when I was playing around with the Microsoft Store so that's probably the annoying thing but apart from that I think they've improved it a lot you still have your you know categories that you can check through on the screen but they really really are making the Microsoft Store better all the time and easier to navigate through uh, that was a problem missing 
the home button because you'd go into categories you check for stuff and then you'd have to you know just go back or close it and restart it to try to come back to the home page it was kind of a little difficult to really know where you were going and navigating through so uh, this is of course much better having a home button or a home menu at the top left so uh, if you haven't checked it out go and see the new Microsoft Store if you don't see it on your desktop and the taskbar uh, it should normally be somewhere in your start screen apps uh, it's a green tile with a shopping bag if you don't see it you can also go into your search in the charms and just type store and there you'll see it the first thing you'll see is store you can click on it and you'll immediately be sent to the store if you don't see the store revamped like this one thing that you need to know is this is a store that is available only to Windows 8.1 users if you're a Windows 8 user and haven't upgraded to 8.1 the new version of the store is not available to anyone that doesn't have at least Windows 8.1 so um, that's just a little word of caution and uh, if you're not sure if you have Windows 8.1 8.1 you just go into the bottom left corner and you should have that little start button if you see that start button you are on 8.1 if you don't see it you are still in Windows 8 and I think that upgrading to 8.1 is a great idea um, in Windows 8 if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know and uh, maybe you have an app maybe you have something or feature of Windows 8 you'd like to see let us know and we'll try to put that video online and help you you'll be helping others at the same time so thanks for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel bye bye